The Atari H store is having a mass removal of ports in less than a week, with so many amazing titles you'll want to take home while you still can. One of the developers especially hit hard by this is Robert DeCrescenzo, who goes by Patman Plus on the forums. Virtually all the Patman games are going to disappear for good, so I have a suggestion for Bob. Because just changing the name is not enough, even if you change the name to Pie Guy, it would still be an exact copy of the game. So what he could do is go back and change some of his Patman games by changing the characters, sounds, and mazes to where they no longer infringe on Namco's IP and turn them into his own ideas. In other words, they'd be Patman clones, but not exact copies. So they'll get to be successfully published and stay at the Atari H store. Casey Munchkin for the same 100 is being pulled because that was a game originally done by Magnavox. What he needs to do is turn them into his own ideas. Like I said, if he changed the Patman games by changing the characters, sounds, and mazes, along with doing some of his own ideas in them, they would no longer infringe on Namco's IP, and it would be the only way to bring Patman games back to the Atari H store without infringing on Namco's IP. With Atari H changing their focus by removing unlicensed ports, programmers like Robot Dickerson'so will have to change their direction, since he, he is especially hit hard by this, along with John Champo of Champ Games, who is also getting most of his games pulled. Robert Dickerson'so's games that will stay are Failsafe, Asteroids Deluxe, Space Duel, Crazy Bricks, Meteor Shower, Frenzy, Super Circus, and Bentley Bear.